Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to find the rate of change of volume. So, I'll share my screen with you. The radius of a right circular cylinder is given by square root of t plus 2, and its height is half square root of t, where t is time in seconds and h is in inches. Find the rate of change of volume with respect to time. So, solution. Volume of a right circular cylinder is pi r square h. So, in this case, v is equal to pi r square is square root of t plus 2 square and height is half square root of t. So volume is equal to half pi t plus 2 t e plus 2 times square root of t. Okay. So that becomes volume is equal to half pi. We can take outside and then distribute the square root of t inside the parenthesis. So t times t to the power of half plus 2 t to the power of half and that is equal to f by t to the power of 1 plus half in exponent is 3 by 2 plus 2 t half. Okay. Now we are going to find the derivative of volume with respect to t. So let me create some space. So dv, so v is equal to half pi t to the power of 3 by 2 plus 2 t to the power of half. So this is equal to v is equal to half pi <coughs> then Derivative of t to the power of 3 by 2. The exponent comes in the front. So let me just that. So the exponent, like I was saying, will come in the front when I'm taking the derivative of t exponent 3 by 2. The exponent 3 comes in the front. t to the power of 3 by 2 minus 1 plus... 2, the exponent half comes in the front, and t to the power of half minus 1. So this is the derivative of v with respect to t. Okay. And that will be equal to dv by dt is equal to half pi 3 by 2 t to the power of half because 3 by 2 minus 1 is left over of half plus the 2 in the numerator cancels with 2 in the denominator and I'm left with t to the power of minus half. Okay. So you create some more space So this is pi. So dv by dt is equal to half pi. And then uh, 3 and a half divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 
t to the power of half. Okay, which will further simplify to <clears throat> pi by two plus three t to the power of half multiplied by t to the power of half divided by two multiplied by t to the power of half plus two divided by two times one t to the power of half. Okay. So this will be equal to, so let me create some space here. dv by dt is equal to pi by 2 times 3t plus 1 divided by 2t to the power of half, which will be simplified to, let me do it in the next line over here, dv by 2 dt is equal to pi divided by 4t to the power of half multiplied by 3, um, this should have been 3t plus 2, not 1, 3t plus 2, 3t plus 2. And that's your final answer for the change of volume with respect to time. So let me go over what I did was a half pi 3 by 2. I'm finding out the derivative of t to the power of 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 exponent comes in the top in t exponent 3 by 2 minus 1. And then plus derivative of 2, I'm sorry, 2 times t to the power of half. So 2, 2 derivative of t to the power of half, half exponent comes in the front. And then I have 2t t, uh, t exponent half minus 1. So dv by dt is pi by 2, 3, 2. T, t is 3 by 2 minus 1 exponent is half plus t to the power of minus half. So dv by dt is equal to half by 3t and a half by 2 plus 1t to the power of, divided by t to the power of half, t to the power of minus half becomes t to the power of half in the denominator. Then I'm reducing the, the common denominator, pi by 2 stays outside. I'm multiplying the first term by t to the power of half in the numerator and t to the power of half in the denominator. The second term I'm multiplying by 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. So then finally dv by dt is pi over 2, 3t, t and a half times t and a half is t plus 2 times 1 is 2 divided by 2t two to the power of half in the denominator which then simplifies to dv by dt is pi 4t to the power of half in the denominator and 3t plus 2 in the numerator. So let me get rid of this equal to sign over here and this uh, whatever I did over here and write this correctly dv by dt. So basically followed the derivative of two terms and then simplification. Uh, I'll stop here today. Uh, if you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, if you like this video, please watch with your friends. Please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. <laughs> I'll be back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time. If you have any question, you can WhatsApp me at 856-685-8226 or write me an email at sn underscore 88 at hotmail.com. Thanks. See you again. See you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution.